and liftoff of Artemis 1, we rise together back to the moon and beyond. And we're here, the first flight in the Artemis program. I'm gonna walk you through really quick what it's gonna look like going around the moon and then coming home back to Earth at the end. So at this point, we've gone along our path, we've made it to the moon, and now we're about to dip in as close as we'll get for the entire mission on this outbound powered flyby. Now this burn, it's largely gonna be using that orbital maneuvering system engine, that large one that we tested out on earlier burns and it's also going to be using the auxiliary thrusters. We've got some reaction control ones to help control our attitude. But what this is really designed to do is to get us around the moon and start heading into distant retrograde orbit, or DRO. That's this dotted line that you can see up here. This is really where we're going to learn about Orion while we fly around the moon, about 38,000 miles off the lunar surface. And we call it retrograde as the moon is heading in that direction. Orion will be heading in this one, opposite retrograde. Now after we're done in that orbit, it'll be time to come home. We'll execute a maneuver to exit, do another flyby close to the lunar surface that commits us to coming home and fine tuning our path towards the atmosphere. We'll make any correction burns on our way back as necessary before it's time to re-enter the atmosphere. Now before that can happen, we'll have a spacecraft separation event. The service module, its job is done. It breaks away, ends up burning up in the atmosphere after carrying Orion to the moon and back. What this does is reveal the heat shield, the large structure on the base of Orion. Testing this is our number one goal for the Artemis I flight because when we come back from the moon, we're going to be moving at 25,000 thousand miles an hour. That's 8,000 miles an hour faster than when you come home from the International Space Station. And what that's going to cause is this to heat up to about 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's half the temperature if you were standing on the surface of the sun. So things will be very hot, but that heat shield does its job to protect the Orion capsule, which will be bringing our astronauts home at the end of these future missions. After we're through that fiery re-entry, parachutes deploy, Orion splashes down in the ocean. We'll have a U.S. Navy ship standing by with recovery personnel to pick Orion up out of the water and bring an end to the first flight in the Artemis program. The Artemis One mission continues with these upcoming operations. and tune into NASA TV for the next live mission update. For more on the science of the mission and resources for students and educators, head to stem.nasa.gov slash Artemis. Follow the mission online on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and get the latest updates from the Artemis blog at blogs.nasa.gov slash Artemis. Subscribe for more space. space, 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 space.